GM CEO Mary Barra says the ignition switch scandal is now behind the company. Barra also said all the catch-up work related to replacing faulty ignition switches is done. Meanwhile, GM is planning a new Super Cruise Gizmo, which will allow for hands-free driving from the people who couldn't fix the ignition switch. For more on this, Lauren Fix, the car coach. Lauren, welcome. Thank you. So, Barra is saying the problems are behind them. Do you agree? Well, I think there's a lot of cars that still need to be repaired because I run into people every day that don't even know about it and after we've only been saying it a bazillion times. But also, in, besides that fact, they just want to get ahead of things. They want to sort of move I'm forward. I'm sure that's true. Clear that hurdle and say, you know, we've done everything we can, which, they, you know, they are. We still haven't got to all the lawsuits and everything that will eventually... Well, and, and think of it this way, uh, you know, the fund that's supposed to compensate these people has mm -hmm. collected a uh, hundred different forms from people who have had deaths in the family. GM said it was only 13 people who died. Clearly, it's not over yet, and clearly there's a lot more to come. Right, and not every one of those cases will actually it's prove true. to be that there was the fault of GM. So there is a human factor involved. So, uh, uh, you know, look, Bill Ford about these self-driving cars, I want you to see what he said. He said, right now, you have to have eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, and it's going to be that way for a while. He's saying, this is Bill Ford from Ford, saying self-driving cars are a long way away, and yet Mary Barra is saying that they're going to start introducing some of this technology. As a consumer, I still have my questions about GM and their technology, having seen what happened with the ignition switches. True, and, and this is why you, we're looking at each division as its own company. And it's funny how the consumer has a different impression. When you talk to the average person on the street, if you were to do a man on the street, they would say, General Motors, well, that's not Chevrolet. And although it's plainly obvious to us that it is, the consumer doesn't see that. So from a marketing standpoint, it's probably good that they're keeping it separate. But Cadillac has a new guy at the top. Johan Denessen is the one who made Audi what it is today, which is a phenomenal brand and ahead of the curve when it comes to technology. He just came from the Infinity line, which is also very forward thinking, always first to get in new technology, and now he's in charge of Cadillac, and so that's why he wants that CTS and other brands. Well, under look, that I mean, every forward. car maker in the world is trying to oh, be the yeah. leader in this. Especially VV. And I recently took a ride in a new Mercedes Benz, you know, nice. showing this stuff. But at the end of the day, you say it could be at least a decade away. Why? I don't think you're going to see autonomous cars for at least a decade. I have driven the new Volvo, which what I was a passenger actually in it, and we got to see it actually drive. And I think other people on the street felt very uncomfortable. I mean, you look over and you see some guy having a conversation, not even looking at Woman the road. Woman brushing her yeah, hair. Yeah, guy shaving. We're putting on our eyeliner. You know, I don't know. But I think we're looking at about 10 years from now minimum. Also, you have to keep in mind the consumers have to have this put in just a little bit at a time. We still have government hey, regulation. Hey, hey. hey, it's not about our inability right. to understand the stuff. Oh, it's yes. about their desire to market their product. They're right. trying to create excitement in the marketplace, and this is the way they're doing it. That's my view. Tech Lauren. competition, in my opinion. Lauren Fix, thank you. It's thank always you. great to have you here. Thank you. And we'll be right back.